Hello everyone and welcome back to Mibosen channel. In this video today, I'll be showing you guys on how you can fix errors on Eileen software. There is different errors which people face with Eileen software. Most of the errors which people get in Eileen webcam is error code 1, initialization failed error code 1. So in this video, I'll show you how to fix errors. The most common way on how you can fix these errors is by uninstalling and install the new version of the software and apps. So what you need to do is just go to your Android device and download the new latest app on your phone. And you can just go now on your Windows or Mac and download the new vision. Most of the new vision of Eileen Webcam also have different errors. I recommend you to download the vision of Eileen Webcam vision 2.72 because vision 2.72 have let's say that it has different um, capabilities to perform well on Windows and Boss Mac without errors. So in this video I'll show you the way on how you can bypass those errors of Eileen webcam. So what you need to do is just go to download the vision of Eileen webcam 2.72. I've put the link on the description where you can just go and download the app. So right now say I'm trying to connect the Eileen webcam on this computer. So what I need to do is just go to my phone and try. What I need to do is just go to my phone and try to open the Eileen webcam. So now I'm going to try to open the Eileen webcam. You also need to make sure that on your phone USB debugging is enabled. To enable the USB debugging, you can just go simply go to settings and scroll down to about phone. And when you go to about phone, you can just go and click there. And after clicking on about phone, you can go and scroll up to find the build number. So you are going to click the build number several times to enable the USB debugging mode. After there, you can just go back and simply found the USB debugging debugging mode on the setting of your phone. You can just go to the USB debugging mode and try to enable the USB de debugging and put it on. So you can just come back on your Eileen app and back on your Windows and you can see now the webcam is connected. So these are the few steps and recommendation which you can use to bypass the Eileen errors. Thanks for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.